what is going on YouTube it's your boy Bill Kipaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to convert PS3 folder games into PKGs so you can play them on your HFW unexploited PS3 please keep in mind guys that this will only work with a physical dump of the PS3 game so the game needs to be dumped from a original PS3 CD to a folder or to a ISO format so folder format or ISO format will still work. You can easily extract the ISO to folder. Okay, please keep that in mind. Also, wrap files are not needed. We don't need wrap files. This will also work without enabling HAN. We need to enable HAN once when we're installing the game. After that, you don't need to enable HAN anymore. You can turn off your PS3, turn it on back, and then play the game as normal. No need to run HAN once the game has been installed. First thing you want to do is head over to this compatibility list website, and you want to make sure that you check the game if it's compatible. If it's compatible, you will see a yes beside it, so that means it's compatible. If it's not compatible, it will say no. Also, make sure that you check the title ID because some games might have three different title ID. If you take a look at Ace Combat Assault Horizon, it shows that it has three different title ID. The top one that's blessed, that one works, but the other two does not work. So make sure that you guys check the title ID just to make sure if it's compatible or not. Okay moving on I'm gonna show you guys how to check the title ID for your folder game so right here I have some files that I'll be using I'll be using the CFW 2FW um, make backup PKG PS3 generate also PS exploit resigner and this is my game right here it's 100% compatible and right here we have the param SFO so if you download a game that does not have the title ID I'm gonna show you guys something so let's say that you download a game and you don't know what it is right so boom you download a game and you don't know the title ID what's the title ID okay so let me show you guys how to find the title ID so open the param SFO drag the editor right here now you can close this down now you want to double click the param sfo editor or you can just open make sure that you click this box right here now search for your game folder okay search where you have your games okay so my game is right here okay so here is my folder that I have my games in so this is the folder that we just renamed just to show you guys so I'm just gonna go inside it go inside PS3 game and here is the param SFO go on it and click open and there you go as you can see it shows the title ID right here so that's how you guys can find your title ID for any game okay so let me just close that and let me just go ahead and rename this and that's it that's how easy it is to find game title ID okay alright so what we can do is just delete this what we need to do next is go to the PS3 generate and you want to open the PS3 generate right here now go back out okay so go inside the game folder go inside PS3 game and go to the license directory right here and as you can see there's no license directory file okay so go back out now go to the PS3 generate keep it open drag your game and as you can see one file generated so we can press ok close this down go back to your game folder now PS3 game license directory and there it is we now have a license data right there so go back out alright so we just figured out the title ID and we just figured out how to generate a license 
what we need to do next is go inside the game folder here you want to copy the ps3 game folder go out go to the cfw to ofw and you want to paste it right here make sure that you copy do not cut it make sure you copy okay so we just copied over the ps3 game folder go ahead and drag it and drop it on the cfw to ofw helper now this will take some time so sit back and be patient okay so as you guys can see we have a press any key to exit so we can now close this down and here we have a folder inside it we have two folders okay so go ahead and cut these now go back out go out again and you want to go to make backup pkg enter it and paste your folder right here okay that's it now go to do bat and double click as you can see creating game pkg so just sit back and let it do its thing okay guys so as you can see now we have a successfully created pkg press any key to exit and that's it okay so as you guys can see we now have the pkg ready so what we can do is just delete the raw folder okay that's it now just go ahead and cut these go out now go to the ps3 exploit resigner go to input and right here you want to make sure that you put your act that right there here you want to make sure you put your idps right there and here you put your pkg these games do not require wrap files okay so go inside the pkg folder and add your pkg there as i said before these games right here these games they don't require wrap files okay no wrap files needed all right so once you have your game right here go out go out again now you want to click resign window bat so just give it time until it's complete okay so all the pkgs are copied over so let's go ahead eject the usb and head over to the ps3 okay guys so now that we're on the ps3 you want to go down to your hand toolbox and you want to make sure that you enable hand first Okay, that's it press X now go back out go to package manager install and then standard and here you guys will see your packages and as you can see they're labeled so this one says number one this is number two and this down here is number three so we're just gonna install it in order install the game first let's go press X okay so the first one just install press circle and here we have the first installation so go back to your package manager go down to install standard and let's install um, number two that's the patch okay that's it press circle go back in your package manager again install package file standard and let's install the lice data right here that's it press circle and now let's go ahead and try the game out there you go
okay so as you guys saw the game works perfectly fine and the next thing that you guys should keep in mind is that you don't need to enable hand okay we don't have to enable hand to play this game once you install it you don't need to enable hand when you reboot your ps3 before playing the game because the game works without enabling hand so let me show you guys so i'm going to go ahead and turn off my ps3 okay so as you guys saw i just rebooted my ps3 so i'm going to show you guys that you don't need to enable hand hand does not need to be on it doesn't require hand okay so just go ahead and just play the game all of these games will work without enabling hand and there you go again okay so that's it guys that's how you convert ps3 folder games over to pkgs and play them on your hand exploited ps3 so if the video was helpful please leave a like also share the video around and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come thank you all for watching I will see you guys in my next video.